Well, this is a um, incredible find, and I think that it makes a very clear statement to those who would in the art world who would like these to see these Holocaust cases go away that uh, they're not going away and that uh, there, there's so much more work to be done. Um, to find 1,500 paintings uh, of this caliber is, is astounding. Uh, and I, I think it, it lets uh, the entire art world know that, that restitution work uh, is, is alive and well and, and, and that uh, much more work needs to be done to get these, these items back to the families of, your, of the theft victims. We did not expect them to be in a decrepit old apartment uh, outside of Munich. We expected uh, there to be paintings in Swiss bank vaults or, uh, uh, or other sources like that. In fact, we believe that there are a great number of these uh, uh, looted artworks in Swiss bank vaults, and we're encouraging uh, the Swiss to come forward with uh, items, uh, lists of items that may be in, in, uh, in storage. But uh, for a, a, co a collection like this is just astounding. I don't want to get the hopes up of too many people uh, of what might be there. So until we get definitive lists from the authorities, it's speculation is, is all we have. Uh, but um, when you talk about the degenerate art uh, that was sold off by the Nazis, you're talking about some incredible names, uh, Matisse and, and, and Picasso and, and, and Clay and, and Klimt. Uh, and we've all seen prices of works like this uh, go for hundreds of millions of dollars. But, you know, I want to stress that this is not about the money. We're talking about the creme de la creme here of, of Matisse and Picasso's. Uh, the, the, the Jewish families lost an unbelievable amount of artwork, Torah scrolls and, 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 and valuable uh, items of Judaica that are still missing and may not be worth millions and millions but do have real value to these people. This type of artwork um, at the time was contemporary, modern, uh, new, um, new types of, of painting, new imagery. Uh, it had uh, sex in it. It had uh, women portrayed in, an, in, in, in artistic and unusual ways. And, and to the Nazis, this was against their Aryan culture. And, but they recognized that these works of art had value. So they would collect them and then sell them off so that they can use the money to line the pockets of people like Hermann Goering or purchase artworks or trade artworks that they wanted, uh, artworks that had more of a classic Aryan, Northern Germanic uh, nature to them. Uh, but these works did have value to the Nazis and they recognized that. The first step is to get a detailed list from German authorities, which is what we're scrambling right now uh, to do uh, since we heard the announcement. Um, the, there are a number of uh, databases out there that are doing the same thing, trying to get a list, a definitive list that we could then search and, and determine who the heirs are. Uh, I represent uh, a great number of heirs of, of these families that had losses, and we want to know, are, are these our families' paintings? Uh, who do they belong to? Who, they, who were they taken from? But the first step is, is a list, images, descriptions, details.